Learning Quite Copter 101 here, and today's shout out goes to Curb and Mauro Rover. Both were first to say first of one of my recent videos, and they both won a shout out. So, congratulations! Good morning, Quite Copter 101 here with another review of another neat Quite Copter. This is the Isheen Red Devil V2. Now, what is the Red Devil V2? If you're looking at it, you say, oh, it's another little micro FPV racer. But uh, this is a new class of micro FPV racers. There's several others that are out there right now. But this is a toothpick class of drone. Now, what is a toothpick? A uh, toothpick are um, micro FPV racers, but with very uh, thin frames, very narrow frames. The idea is to reduce weight to the drone and also to reduce uh, drag to allow the drone to fly faster. Now, if we look at the evolution, <laughs> let's talk about the evolution of these whoop, whoops or these micro FPV flyers. They started out as a whoop, okay? It was a indoor... Um, little indoor toy drone that somebody had the idea of, of slapping on a all-in-one camera to to turn it into an FPV uh, indoor flyer. Okay, this is not a, a real whoop. This is an Ishin E010, but the idea was to, to allow you to fly around indoors um, uh, in your house in the wintertime and get FPV flying experience while doing such. Now, not everybody wanted to fly indoors, <laughs> like me. I like to fly outdoors and I fly real fast outdoors. And so along comes uh, uh, other classes, like here. This is a brushless, uh, I forgot what this was, uh, oh, XF100. Uh, people slapped on brushless motors to these. Now, however, the, uh, the problem with this is um, they weren't really looking at reducing drag, okay? Uh, going, you know, flying fast with a lot of presented area on this particular drone here uh, would induce drag, which would slow down the, the quadcopter. Although this one was a fast flyer, it could be faster, is what the idea was. Be, was. Now also there's, people were liking the whoops, but they also wanted to fly outdoors, so along came more powerful whoops uh, along the pipeline here, and they had brushless motors too. They're still out there, um, very powerful, very fast, but still they could be faster because these uh, protection ducts around each of these propeller here do induce a lot of drag at high speeds. So again, the idea was to reduce weight and reduce drag, and that's what we got is this new toothpick class. Um, this particular drone here is 105 millimeters in diameter across its between its arms uh, diagonally um, it does it its frame is composite uh, carbon composite fiber uh, frame two millimeters thickness but very very narrow and skinny the idea being again to reduce the amount of presented area and reduce the drag for high speed flying of this drone uh, this particular drone uh, comes equipped with uh, EX-1102-8700 uh, KV motors, uh, pretty good sized motors for this little drone, but uh, we'll see how well they actually work. It also has 4-in-1 um, BL Heli 4-amp, 5-amp max ESCs in here to uh, provide a power. Uh, I was hoping to have a little more amps than 5 amps, but 5 amps still should do well with this particular little micro drone so give it a lot of power in in flight now with that in mind this particular drone can handle 2s and 3s batteries now this particular drone comes with an lihv battery provided a 3s lihv battery since uh this can use 2s and 3s batteries uh to get maximum advantage of this though you are going to need to use an lihv charger um, I, unfortunately i don't have one i have a lipo chargers for this for multi-cell batteries uh, i am going to charge it up the nominal or the max voltage for a lipo battery but keep in mind you could probably get extra flight time out of this if you have an lihv charger and you can charge this up to its full potential now the other things about this particular drone this comes with a cadex eos 2 camera um, nice 1209 TV line camera. Uh, should provide very good uh, image quality. Uh, the camera can be tilted up or down. Um, it's tiltable. I like that. I, I like to be able to tilt my camera as high as possible for high speed flying. Um, but you can tilt it downward if you wish for indoor flying. So that's the idea of being able to tilt that camera. Um, additionally, it comes with a 40 channel, 2500 and 200 milliamp per hour or 200 milliwatt uh, switchable video transmitter. What does that mean? That means you can, since this also does have smart audio, you can change the frequencies of the transmitter and the transmitter power using the, your uh, your controller instead of uh, using 
the little button on the video transmitter. And it does have a little button if you wish to do it manually. Uh, it's right about there. I don't know why anybody these days would do it manually, but you can switch this uh, uh, using your remote control through your goggles, uh, through the menus on, that are, will be displayed on your goggles. Now, other things, this comes with a Crazy B F4 flight controller board. Um, it is not loaded up with the latest software on here. It has Betaflight 4.0.0 dated December 11th, 2018. Now, I am going to fly this with its stock flight control software on here. I want to see how well it can fly with its stock PIDs. I always do that, folks. I, f I fly with it the way it comes out of the box with stock PIDs and stock uh, flight control software on there. And we're going to do that today for this today's flight. Uh, the props on this are 65 millimeter props. Uh, one thing about these props, though, they are attached via friction. They're not screwed in. So uh, I'm not sure how well they'll hang on, especially for high-speed uh, uh, punches. But um, we'll see. It, these might be sufficient for this. But I always recommend when, with these friction props to make sure that they are on all the way. You know, apply, apply a little pressure here to make sure that they're fully installed. And always remember, if you lose one of these props, if they pop off, replace the prop. Do not try to install the prop back again because every time you do that, every time it's installed and removed, um, it lose, lo loses a little bit of material on the inner uh, surface of the um, uh, propeller uh, where the shaft goes in, and also it, it widens a bit. So it, it, you know, what, if one pops off, it's best to actually replace that particular propeller. Um, other things about this, it does come with XT30 connector along with a. 100 microfarad 16 volt capacitor there to reduce noise engine noise i believe that's the idea of the capacitors to reduce engine noise to the fpv receiver so you don't get any uh, squiggly lines in your video okay let's talk about receivers uh, this is available in one of four flavors in either uh, free sky fr sky uh, fly sky uh, dsm2 dsmx and PNP if you want to provide your own transmitters. Now the transmitters for the D, you know, Free Sky, Fly Sky, and DSM-2X are integrated into the flight control board. That's pretty cool in its effect. But one thing about that is I can't seem to find any uh, receiver antenna protruding from this. So that means the receiver antenna is probably also integrated into the flight control board. Now with that in mind, I'm not sure that's the most efficient means of a receiver <laughs> antenna for this particular quadcopter. So this uh, quadcopter might have some limited range because of that. I don't know. We'll see when we go actually flying. Uh, one other thing about this uh, flight control board is that it has a bind button and a boot button that are located directly under this battery pad. All you do is lift that battery pad away and you have easy access to both the bind and the uh, boot, or yeah, the bind and the boot button. Now, one thing about that, though, is particularly for this Free Sky version that I got, is you don't really need to use that bind button. What's cool? Well, this is the first time I've seen this. Is that if you go into Betaflight, plug this in to Betaflight using the micro USB port here, and uh, open up Betaflight, and then go into the CLI and type the word bind, that puts the drone into bind mode while it's attached to uh, Betaflight. So, in effect, you don't have to do these funky where you hold the button down and then plug in the battery at the same time to put this into to flight or into boot mode, which is, or bind mode, which is always a pain in the butt for me. You just type bind into the CLI and it puts it into bind mode. And then you, and you go into your transmitter and hit bind and it automatically will bind this to the drone. That's cool. I really like that idea. Okay, let's go over what you get in the box. You get the drone, of course. Um, you also get a nice little carrying case for the drone right here. Uh, the carrying case, also included in this carrying case, is two of these little zip ties. Um, I recommend at least zip tying your uh, battery connector because this thing flops around quite a bit and there is a chance of it uh, coming up into the props. So I strongly recommend you zip tie that. Another thing you might want to zip tie, which I didn't do, uh, is this FPV uh, receiver antenna, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, FPV video transmitter antenna, you might want to bind or zip tie that up too so that doesn't flop into the props. I'm going to go with mine flopping around. We'll see how well that stays out of the props. I'm pretty sure I, it won't be a problem here unless I really, really punch it hard. <laughs> but I don't think that it will have 
the wind will push it down enough to get into the props. But again, it might be a good idea still to zip tie that up also with the second zip tie you get. Also in the box, you get a full spare set of propellers. Actually, it looks like two spare sets of propellers. That's great. Along with a little screwdriver, a bunch of little screws, a prop puller for uh, removing the props, and uh, little grommets too. I'm not sure what the grommets are for. Other than it's probably for the uh, frame, so yeah, there's that grommets there. Well, anyways, there, there's grommets for this. <laughs> I don't know where they actually go, but uh, you got those too. Uh, also, in the box, you get a, an instruction manual, it's actually a well written, nicely written. So, I strongly recommend you, you read this before you fly. And it discusses, particularly for my Free Sky version, about Free Sky D8 and D16, and, and also its recommendation for not. Uh, using telemetry with this to improve the video transmitter <laughs> or actually the receiver uh, uh, range of this particular quadcopter. I don't know how uh, telemetry is going to interfere with that but it says do such. So okay that's it let's go for a fly this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning Quadcopter 101 and we are out at one of my favorite flying fields. Now I got this is nice open area I normally fly over in the park but uh, why did I want to bring this out here today because the reason being, I like to fly this one low and fast, and this is where I like to fly low and fast, folks, because I like to zip around the uh, creosote bushes that are all over the area here. So that's why we're here today. Um, first off, let's start off with uh, line of sight flying, and then we'll switch into FPV. So let's fire it up. I already have this plugged in and bound to my uh, T8SG transmitter. But we're going to start off in angle mode. Let me arm the motors. Oh, motor should be armed. Make sure it is. Let's go take to the air first. See how it looks. This is up, up close. Showing you it. Now the first thing I want to do is try its punch. It's got a punch. <laughs> it's got a heck of a lot of punch. Let's bring it back in again. Try that again. I hope you saw that <laughs> a little thing. It's hard to see, but yeah, this has the punch. This has the power to it. Let me bring it back over toward us. Next thing I want to do is we're going to go into horizon mode next. Switch into horizon. And horizon allows us to fly stabilized, but also allows us to do things like flipping. Like that. Flipping. So that is horizon flying. One more. Flip. I'm going over there. The truck going by behind me here. So, okay, so that's enough of the line of sight flying. Let's put it back on the pad, and then we'll go right into FPV. So hold on, folks. I like my shirt today, folks. Okay, okay, we are ready to fly FPV. I got my uh, Viper uh, V2 goggles on. I got the uh, sides on to uh, keep out the sunlight. It's a pretty bright day today, so that's why I got the, the bottom part on. Um, let me select uh, angle. Actually, I believe I'm in acro mode, acro, uh, and it's arming the motors, and it's acro air is what we're flying with today, so let's take to the air and see how it feels. The camera looks really, really nice on this, that 1200 TV line camera, I'll tell you that right now. How was that? Almost took our heads off. <laughs> this little thing. Now, it's been a while since I've flown acro, so let me get a feel for this. It's been a couple of months, folks, the reason being... Um, again, we had earthquakes out here, but I want to try this first, Let's get the feel of it, going up, 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 do a roll, general rolls first, since we're in air mode, I like to do general rolls in air mode, let's try a roll to the left, coming around again, roll to the left, up and a pitch over, coming back to us, because we're way over there. That was about 100 meters away. Okay, let's go fly around the desert, like I said, low and fast. Oh, again, yeah, I, I'm a little rusty today. I'll get it back. I'll get it back. Doesn't take long. But, uh, yeah, this is a nice flyer. Let me give you the my thoughts right now on it. Um, coming around here. Going up and over. Zoom, zoom, zoom. 
and around and um, it's smooth smooth and fast I'll give you that okay I'm starting to get the feel again a little more banks coming around here on my throttle zip it around there this is a fast little devil <laughs> oh yeah that's why I call it red devil okay it oh. <laughs> My wife will go get that for me. Hold on, folks. Another good thing about flying into creosote or flying around creosote bushes, they're very gentle, so they don't break your uh, drone if you crash into them. So, okay, arming again. We what are we doing in Horizon? Back to air mode, uh, arming the motors, and take it to the air again. Okay, we're down to 3.5 volts again. I wished I have a uh, LIHB charger for these multi cells, but I don't, unfortunately. I'll I'll probably grab one in the near future because LIHVs are coming out right and left and I should have a, a good charger for LIHVs, especially if I'm going to be reviewing these. But yes, whoa, we're down to three volts already. So we're going to come in for a landing now. <laughs> good morning, Quadcopter 101 here and how do you like my shirt today, folks? Okay, we are ready for some FPV flying of the little red devil. Let's see how it flies. Got my... Uh, Goggles on, selecting air mode, arming, and let's take to the air. Okay, let me get a feel for this thing first. First flight FPV. Now, yesterday, if you noticed, we were in a different area yesterday when we were flying. <laughs> and now we're over here. And the problem was, folks, that uh, um, I had forgot to fully charge this battery. Hold on, let me adjust my antennas too. Got strange signals there. Okay, that's better. Antennas on my goggles are good. I heard a little clip in there, and I'm losing signal, which is telling me I probably clipped my antenna. Hold on, folks. Let me bring it in for a second. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> yeah, I dinged it. If you can see here, I chopped the antenna. So, yes, definitely you want to use... You want to use a, a zip tie on this to raise this antenna up. I have spare antennas. I'm going to put one on. We'll try this again tomorrow. Uh, so sorry about that, folks. No more flying to this today until I replace that antenna. Okay, it's another day. Um, fortunately, I had a spare antenna for that, and I zip tied it to make sure it doesn't flop into the propellers again. So uh, let's go for a flight again. Let me adjust the goggles on my head. And again, I only got this charged up for a LiPo charge, not for LIHV. So we're not going to get the full amount of flight time you possibly could with that LIHV battery. Unfortunately, And again, unfortunately, I do not have a LIHV charger. But we are ready to go. Let me put it in Acro, Acro Air. And scratch my, my knees here. Hold on. And selecting arm and taking to the air. Let me get a feel for it. We'll go around. Now, I am noticing right now there is some jello um, because of the way, you know, that antenna, it gets pointed up and down. You know, it has that ability to be tilted. But with that comes a little bit of jitter on the uh, camera lens because it's just not in there super firm. So that jello is kind of uh, normal. <laughs> um, I think you could get rid of it by just strengthening it up a bit. See how this thing flies though. This thing is somewhat fast. Let me go up and roll it. Put it around. I could probably tilt that antenna up a little bit more, get a little more speed, but it's moving the way it is. Coming around up and make a right roll. Let's go around the corner. Let's go around the area. Uh, with that antenna, that new antenna is working fine. <laughs> so we got some range you know, on this thing. This actually flies nice, folks. And it is fast. Zoom. It's a fast little devil. I'll give you that. Fast little red devil. 
Okay, we are down to 3.30 volts already. I'm just going around the pole here just for fun. 3.40 volts. We're doing fine. I don't know how much flight time we're going to get, though. Zoom. Rolling it around. It moves. This thing's a little rocket. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. I hope you got that. Huh? <laughs> we'll do it again. Come by. We'll do a uh, fast flyby. The battery's power's hold it up. Fast little thing, ain't it? <laughs> I like it. A little rocket. A little red rocket. We'll come around this way now. We'll come from the uh, my left side now. Oh, we gotta land, we gotta land, we gotta land. Battery power is kaput. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. <laughs> Disarming. Okay, that's the end of our battery. So we got two minutes, uh, 45 seconds of flight time uh, racing it, going like a rocket. So it, it was pretty darn fast. Again, you probably get a lot more flight time if uh, flown with an LIHV charger. Um, overall, yeah, this is a little fast little rocket. Uh, little red devil uh, again keep in mind folks if you get this uh, those two zip ties are very important they're there for a reason that you get with this again you want to zip tie down your battery cable and zip tie your FPV antenna find a way to do that so that neither one of these will come flopping into the propellers so overall that's the red devil v2 hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 signing out Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.